Well, welcome back. It's another late evening on a very humid, muggy day. Should I say muggy evening? Back down for another fishing trip after tinkers on this particular water. Very, very enjoyable thus far, and as my last trip showed, should have had three, but had two. But aren't they picture perfect? It's been an absolute joy to be able to share these videos thus far with you guys. Um, but yeah, as I say, back down again. I'm not going to bore you with the tactics. Um, same as last time. Um, brought a few worms with me as well this time. I might switch to them later on. But it depends. If there's a lot of rub feeding, I'd rather maybe just stick with a boily approach. But we'll see. It's nice just to be back out, back bankside. And as I say, conditions are absolutely spot on, as you can tell. It's cloudy. You've got a blanket of cloud. Humidity is around about 92%. So it's a nice, nice, low pressure system. Very, very enjoyable kind of conditions to be chancing your arm for a fish or two. As I made my way around the lake, there was a decent, decent fish crashed out. So, doesn't it look splendid though? Looks good for a fish. Anyway, I'm not going to waffle, I'm not going to whittle on. Get the gear set up and let's get fishing. Right, just a light off offering, excuse me, got a bit of a dry throat, just a light offering of sweet corn, which will be topped up during the evening and through the course of the night when I recast as and when, and based on what's feeding and what's not, I'm just going to put in a couple of balls of grilled hemp ground bait mixed with molasses, and that'll be the sum of it really, a few loose boilies, a little mesh bag with some crumb boilies, and then sweet corn and the molasses, grilled hemp ground bait just a case of keeping it simple and yeah, hopefully they'll be feeding but I do suspect this evening unlike my last trip they don't look like they're mooching about there's no fizzing anyway so maybe it'll be a case of a couple of morning early morning runs but either way it's just nice to be out in pleasant surroundings and obviously with the chance of a picture perfect looking tinker or two Well, 
just what the doctor ordered a nocturnal visit from the doctor fish herself another resplendent looking nocturnal tinker very very welcome I absolutely enjoying the surroundings the fishing and even though I'm not getting out to fish at all early I'm heading out evening times and then fishing to early mornings which is I would rather be staying morning time onwards but still managing to pick up a few tench which is always welcome some coming like this one at night and others coming in the early morning kind of session before I'm heading off so yeah very welcome pristine condition got a few leeches on it though which is um, where it's been I guess moving in between the weed beds an absolute screaming bite as well very 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 welcome as I say beautiful condition beautiful paddle tail to it very very welcome indeed let's get this paddle perfect tinker slip back to its lovely olive green weed beds that match its flanks Well, there we go second bite of the apple there I lost one this one's taking on the red worms or a couple of dendrobinas from the family wormery and I do keep promising you guys that I'll do an actual video of the family wormery um, as you guys have been asking what other byproducts do they the worms produce which can be really useful to your garden and with the wormery with the drainage system we got they do produce a fertilizer which is great for your veg <laughs> I do keep meaning to do a video and I should really do one so I do apologize to you chaps that keep asking me uh, yeah lovely early morning tinker went like a right stinker but I think the other fish was bigger than that but then again they all do feel like that when you lose a fish they always feel bigger don't they yeah what a pristine looking tench absolutely wonderful brilliant condition very very happy I could get quite well used to this absolutely thoroughly enjoying my tench fishing at the moment very very
Oh. Laura, that was a scrap. <laughs> How about that? How absolutely impeccable and glorious olive greens in the morning sunshine. Very, very nice. Gorgeous teddy bear eye. Really, really nice. Look at that. Is that not just a wonderful iris? So amazing. So utterly amazing. Just quickly show you the other scarred flank on this fish before we set it on its way. Here you go. How well you can see that. Pull myself back a bit. There, there you go. It's just focused in. That scar both sides. Whether that's pike or otter related, I don't know. But yeah. Very nice too. Very, very, very wholesome panacea for the heart and mind. And indeed, the soul of an angler.